Ball Super Card Game. The Dragon Ball Super Card Game is a two-player competitive trading card game. The game features characters from every Dragon Ball series ever made, including Dragon Ball Super. This is your chance to be a part of an amazing Dragon Ball All-Star Battle. This video will provide a quick rundown of the rules while taking a look at an actual battle. Before the battle, let's go over the cards. There are three kinds. Leader cards. This card is the centerpiece of your deck. Check out the cool CG illustrations printed on both sides of it. Battle cards. These cards are your main allies on the battlefield. They feature awesome scenes from the anime. Extra cards. These cards are special techniques that can break you out of a tight spot. Like battle cards, they use anime scenes but have different frames. In battle, you compare power. Written on the bottom left of the cards, the card with the higher power wins the battle. Both leaders have eight cards as their life points. Take the opponent leader's life down to zero to win the game. There are two things to focus on, awakening and combos. If your leader card takes multiple hits and it gets low on life, you can awaken your leader. Awakened leaders become much more powerful and even gain new skills. Turn the game around with your incredible strength. Combo is a game system to support your cards in battle. By comboing, you can summon a character from your hand to add their combo power on the left side of the card to your ally in battle. Experience dynamic Dragon Ball battles like you've never seen before. In order to play battle cards and extra cards, you need energy. Energy is what you call your cards in the energy area. Check the top left of a card when playing it. For example, this card requires three total energy, including one or more blue energy. Check a card's frame for its color. Play the card onto the battlefield by switching the necessary amount of energy sideways. Don't forget, a card in vertical position is in active mode, and a card in horizontal position is in rest mode. So, let's start the game. You need a total of 51 cards to play the game. One leader card and a 50 card deck constructed of battle cards and extra cards. Then, a maximum four copies of the same number card in your deck. First, place your leader card in the leader area face up. This game will feature the rematch of the century, Son Goku and Frieza. You battle with Goku's deck. Shuffle your deck and place it face down in the deck area. The play order is decided randomly, but this time you go first with Son Goku. Then you can draw six cards from your deck. These six cards make up your hand. You get one chance to return any number of cards, shuffle your deck, and redraw that same number of cards. Finally, place eight cards from the top of your deck into your life area. Looks like we're all set. From here on, we'll be following an actual battle. The game progression can be divided into three phases. Your turn. Charge phase. There are three things to do during this phase. First, you need to switch all of your rest mode cards to active mode. But there's nothing to switch on the first turn. Second, you draw one card from the top of your deck. The first player skips this process on his first turn, so let's move on. Third, you can place any card from your hand into the energy area. You don't have to carry out this action, so it's up to you whether you charge a card. Also, don't forget to place cards in your energy area upside down so you can distinguish them. Place the green human shield Krillin there for now. Next is the main phase. In the main phase, you can carry out the following actions as many times as you want in any order you want to. Play a battle card from your hand into the battle area. Activate card skills. Activate your leader cards awaken. Battle. Proceed to the end phase. You play slasher trunks into the battle area by paying one energy. The total cost of trunks is one, and we also have the necessary green energy. You pass on playing any card skills or awaken because the conditions aren't fulfilled. The game doesn't have summoning sickness, so cards can attack right after being played. However, 
A player can't attack on the first turn of the game, so you proceed to the end phase. End phase. Your turn is over. The game continues with the opponent's turn. Charge phase. The opponent would normally switch all of their cards to active mode, but nothing happens because no cards are in rest mode. The opponent draws one card from the top of their deck. They place any card from their hand into the energy area. Main phase. The opponent pays one energy to place Sorbet, the loyal commander, into the battle area. Now it's time to battle. By switching your card to rest mode, you can order it to attack your opponent's leader card or one of their battle cards in rest mode. For this turn, Frieza is switched to rest mode and attacks the opposing leader, Son Goku. A battle is made up of the following three steps. First is the attacking side's offense step. The attacking player can combo, activate skills, or awaken their leader, but the opponent chooses just to proceed with the attack. Next is the defending side's defense step. The defending player can combo, activate skills, or awaken their leader, but you choose none of them, just like your opponent. Finally, we have the damage step. The final power of the battling cards is compared in this step, and if the attacking card is higher, it wins. Both Frieza and Goku's power are 10,000. A tie is an automatic win for the attacking side, making Frieza the victor of the battle. Your leader loses one life when the leader card is defeated in battle. Add cards from your life area equal to the amount of damage to your hand. Losing life is no joke, but it does give you more cards to fight back with. End phase. The turn is over. Your turn. Charge phase. Switch all of your rest mode cards to active mode. Draw one card from the top of your deck. Place any card from your hand into the energy area. Main phase. First, you play the extra card objection from your hand. Be careful to check the correct timing for each extra card. Objection can be used in the main phase. This skill allows you to place Mighty Striker Son Gohan in your energy area. Now it's time for another battle. You can attack the opposing leader or a battle card in rest mode. With no opposing battle cards in rest mode, you switch Son Goku to rest mode and attack the opposing leader, Frieza. Attacking triggers Son Goku's skill, giving him an additional 3,000. Because of the three energy you have, that makes the card's total power 13,000. Offense step. You pass, you make no changes. Defense step, the opponent does the same. Damage step, compare the power of the battling cards. Son Goku emerges victorious with 13,000 power in comparison to Frieza's 10,000 power. The loss of a leader card means one damage. The opponent adds one card from the life area to their hand. The battle isn't over yet. You continue to attack Frieza with Slasher Trunks. But the opponent activates Sorbet, the loyal commander's keyword skill, Blocker. This skill's effect changes the target of the attack to Sorbet, the loyal commander. Offense Step. You do nothing this time. Defense Step. The opponent doesn't do anything either. Damage Step. Slasher Trunks has 10,000 power, but Sorbet, the loyal commander, only has 1,000. Slasher Trunks wins the battle. A battle card that has lost a battle is KO'd and placed in the drop area. KOing a battle card doesn't inflict damage on the player. End phase. The turn is over. Let's move on to the opponent's turn. Charge phase. Switch all of your rest mode cards to active mode. Draw one card from the top of your deck. Place any card from your hand into the energy area. Main phase. The opponent pays two energy to play a poon into the battle area. Here we go, straight to battle. The opponent switches a pool to rest mode and attacks slasher trunks. Offense step. Now it's time to combo. The opponent places Togoro, the loyal warrior, from their hand into the combo area. By combo, Tagoma's combo power is added to the attacking card. 
You also need to be careful of the number below a card's combo power. This is how much energy is required to combo with that card. Fortunately, the amount of energy required for Taguma is zero. There's no limit to the number of combos you can strike in one battle. When you combo, be careful, as you can't use any effects that activate outside of the combo area. Defense Step The defending player can also combo during this time, but lacking the resources in your hand, you decide not to. Damage Step The attacking side's power is 20,000, the sum of Apul's 15,000 and Tagoma the Loyal Warrior's 5,000. The power of defending side's slasher trunks is only 10,000. Apul wins! Any cards used to combo are placed in the drop area after the damage step. Let's move on to the next battle. The opponent attacks Son Goku with their leader, Frieza. But you activate his extra card, Wiz's Coercion. Check the activation condition. Counter, attack, can be used against the opponent's attack, so there's no problem. Wiz's Coercion skill is activated by paying one energy. The attack has been thwarted. This skill also allows you to switch one card in your energy area to active mode. End phase. The turn is over. But the game continues. Skipping ahead a few turns, we've reached the climax of the battle. 